Rastafari. Did I see it? Yeah. For some reason in this time, you know. Yeah, just a little reason about some few things that we see and how things are gone. You know. First, I read a speech of His Majesty. You should bear in mind, in fact, that a man who says, I've learned enough, will learn no further, shall be considered as following nothing at all. There can be no time limit for learning. For learning and the pursuit of knowledge, it is essential for you to discover ways of furthering your education. Yeah? Furthering your educational capacity instead of discontinuing it. So many times you just say I'm no enough. I'm done read. And I'm like a book. And things that are some telecation. And in bone education and in bone everything out there. But still we have a reason, you know, we have a read and to find out more. <clears throat> I'm guided by the teaching of his majesty, you don't know say. It's a reading, make a full man of knowledge. Make a full man the same way. So I look at reason and Rastafari code of conduct. Yeah? You don't know say just have ways and means and say him know everything and feel we are the right way. Yes, every man have a way with him says right still. But there are laws and governance and things to do and when a man say Rastafari, I man say, yo, me a Rastafari come me idol and bon God and me bon Jesus and me bon Pope and all them things they see. Bon the Bible and yeah. Me just a fireborn rasta. Me just a italite rasta and you just a dreadite rasta. And some man say my body, but my rasta same way because I have no locks, but you can't wear locks because I'm work. You know. Some man say his majesty is not divine and his majesty is a king. And So it's a, and it was a deal with black power and African consciousness and the Rasta same way. You see it. Well, we have a book. Rastafari Code of Conduct. That is in. Yeah, them book. Yeah. Why is my publication document and put in together? You know, see it. Global Night Bingy Consultation, July 22nd to the 30th, 2008. We have a reasoning and ratification of the Rastafari Code of Conduct. By a good delegation of Rastafari, local and internationally. Code of Conduct is not a hard and fast rule, but it's just a guide. So when you say Rastafari, you know, say certain things you do and certain things you don't do. And it is not the Naya Bingi guidelines. The Naya Bingi guidelines of the Naya Bingi warriors and them who cite up Naya Bingi. But we have your own rules too. So you have to have your own rules, so you have the Naya Bingi guidelines, yeah? For the man who moves the Naya Bingi. So we say, alright then. You have that. But about the Rastafari code of conduct now. So they are Bobo Shanti and you are a Bingi and you are Jedites and you are Italites. Them stages they have the trad. You have to have a reference point, not you? So you go go around that. And you say reference points is His Majesty works and still you still now be and you do a whole for something same way and still have to set some things that we can manage you know day by day I look through a few of these things and so I say 
following provisions of shall have effect as the Rastafari Code of Conduct. So you have a general code. Accept the divinity of Kadamawi Ayelis Lassie and the divine qualities of Empress Menin. So you go say he's Rasta and accept the divinity of his majesty. Or maybe in a read the stage yet, but you still Rasta. And I'll go fight that. <coughs> but that's the ultimate challenge, you know. Two, defend the sovereign rights of the Africans at home and abroad. <coughs> That's the man's name is African of the foundation. So the rights of the Africans. Local and international, you go defend that as part of the code of conduct. You see me? Abide by the laws and teachings of Ailis Selassie I, the first. And I must always read and overstand the selective speeches of His Majesty and apply the relevance to any daily lives for the betterment of humanity. So now just read, study, an application. You don't have to know every quote, you have to know every verse and them thing there. We don't know, says Majesty teaching is relevant within the Nibing and the Rastafari code of conduct and the Bobo Shanti guidance and Twelve Tribe guidance, same way. So it's broad based. Go for everyone, see? Another point. Knowing that the collective word, words of Kadamawi Ayala Selassie are true. And I find foundation of righteous governance. I know what John Paul say. I know what King David say. I know what His Majesty say. And that are the importance, you know. That make you Rastafari. <clears throat> that we follow. Full teachings. The public principles of African unity, justice and love, peace, truth and right, trust and rights. Along with free man. We you know freedom. We come for free man. So it's truth and rights and governance. Principles of African unity. Because we don't come for dealing in a divided Africa, unified Africa. So part of the code of conduct is to uphold the African unity and strive for that. Know that it is sacred duty for Ainai Rastafari sons and daughters to commit Ainai selves wholeheartedly to the cause of African liberation and black repatriation and to labor with Ainai talents and mental abilities to achieve the goal. So all of your talents and abilities. You know, you have to learn Rastaman. You have to study and you have to apply your knowledge. For the development of the African nation. You're not going to sit one side and you're not going to take no sides and jump on the fence and say, yo. African are this and African are that and African are that. Where you African look on yourself, where your roots is. You're not going to run and look on another man's fence and defend it neither want to feel your own. Want to own your own purpose. So as I said. Hmm? Them things there. Know that the birthday of Kadamawi Ayala Selassie, 23rd July 1892, and his I Love It Empress, those birthdays, along with the coronation of His Majesty and Her Majesty. Yeah. Recognize and know those dates. Those you have to fulfill. Most celebrate by the Rastafari family, along with birthday and the first Peter Chaplin and Owell. So, you have to include Leonard Howell within the Rastafari Code of Conduct. So, the Earth, uh, Earth of His Majesty, Impressment in Leonard Howell. You can add more, but those are the basic what we have to do. We have some things out there now, touchable. Always say you're Rasta, so why you defend? Why make you Rastafari? 
how you click up as you rush the far away you do how you stand what's your position what are you defending I say yo me a rasta cause bun of ganja and bun of chalice and eat the high food and all them things and we the African garments and yeah. Or you live or you do. You're a part of one stage one to the other stage. You hit space there, you'll see it. But there are certain things where enough you do. But there are certain things where enough you do. So when you see it's a rasta far, we don't know, say yeah. Fruits, we shall know them, you know. So, part of the code of conduct is that it's conduct, you know. How you behave yourself, how you conduct yourself. There's some abstinence, then. You know, see. So you know, I see no Rasta man, I don't pedophile. You know, deal with that. Now Rastafari have become now men, you know. Rasta not deal with men business. And all them things. Where you say a sex taboo. Rasta not deal with that. So you abstain from them things. Then. Them things in your iris. Clip them out. Them the temptation there. No feel. See me. Never enter, enter into a relationship knowingly aware of a, of a person's intimate situation with another. So Rasta not getting on bond. A girl not take a next man man. A man not take a next man woman. So Rasta man, he not go see how king man with the empress and go take. I'll say, yo, man, David, yo. You know, so she seal and she secure. Whatever problem she have, make them resolve it. You know, I will go in between and say, yo, I like you. You know, they pan them things. Yeah. Said we for the daughter. She steady. She hold her corners. And she don't give no bun. And she don't take no bun. In a Jamaican term. And a man forget born, a woman forget born. You know, they depend on that. Just allow them things. Hmm? You know, I turn on thief. Just not thief, just not steal. Work for your honest living. You know, they depend on that. So the code of conduct, you know, I go to point one point and say, oh, I rasta them, I want big thief. The pandem that is them. You not go be a ramed. I lie down my dog lick your mouth and your tongue and all them thing. So within the code of conduct. No wine biba, no ramed. Hmm? Ganja is not a drug. We don't know. Herb is medicine. A man say, yo, sugar cane make you rum. It's an alcohol, but the cane I'm going to the rum. I use the rum for medicine. Or you go flask, you know, and mix up all kind of color, color, soap, man. You have bonus spliff and you have flask and big locks lie down and... Cold of conduct say no, no depend on that. You stand tall, you know. We know that. So certain things, we're not going to see each other in a rum bar and see each other in a whole house and see each other with a, your daughter and say, your woman, that. Depend on that. So on liberty, we have to go deal with. So if you say Rasta, you know, depend on them levels there. I know, say, X out them, that thing there. Be a one burner, as the word say. 
stay with the one burner, stay with the one woman and family and one pray that. Now deal with the man if you have enough woman and woman if you take enough man, you know. Mm. Depend on that. Hmm? No. Sometimes some rust end up with some dispute. But the code can what code of conduct say. When brothers and sisters quarrel, as it happens from time to time, they come together and discuss the issues concerning in a very open manner, attempt to arrive at mutual agreed solutions. Yeah, you must have a dispute, your reason, come to a solution. It is natural for 41 nations who have different problems. It is our duty to trash out our differences and to reach a solution that will command our united stand. Your reason, which is a solution. We should aware than aware more than before not to allow discord among us. We must close ranks and discharge our obligations in harmony and unity of vision and purpose. And that what his majesty said. We should be aware and more than before not to allow discord among us. We must close ranks and discharge our obligations in harmony and unity of vision and purpose. We must fix the problem in a decent way. If you have this unity, a man who have him vibes and man who have him ways and blow him tap and kick off. If the energy go come, come on a human being, yeah? We must be aware. You can calm down. Look deep and reflect and say, yo. You blow off steam and secure your mind and normalize yourself and say, yeah. Human to blow off and be born away there. Deal with the matter on a decent way. In events of disputes, the parties involved must be taken before a grievance committee of the organization. So if you're a trail tribe, you're Baba Shanti, so now you're it must be a committee there to resolve your dispute. Because some dispute you can't manage. You can't deal with that kind of makeup like that. Some dispute you just, you just go and hear why are you that? So it must be an organization one side they say, yeah, my brother and sister. Let's come less reason. Hmm? So within the grievance committee, the ancients them or the elders them or the leadership within their soul supposed to be educated enough to sit you down and say, yo. We can solve the problem here, you know, before escalating. You know. Before a man get right off and before Babylon intervention and before a man get dropped out because I don't know say. It's not normal when you get out of control. Because I generally not run on the vibes, I run on the energy, I run on the talk, I run on the crystal, I run on you know, back off. So sometimes, need a dispute resolution committee. To resolve them things more than leave it to personality, but if it cannot be resolved within person and person, you see it. Them things there, you must do. So we say, unresolved dispute now. Come maybe to a point it cannot be resolved. If an instance where there is no resolution by the grievance committee, the following is recommended. Maybe, the, maybe you know, one want to listen to no man say, yo, you have to come talk it over, you know, you have to come put on the hammer and go deal with other things and put up a, a flag and an emblem and say, yo, peace time and shake hands and make a sip a cup and them things and just. Yeah, the way there. 
suspension of for a minimum of three months. So we know an organization. I now being given a bubble shanty or 12 tribe and them structure there. Disciplinary structure now, if it is there. Code of conduct say, yeah, run a suspension for three months after which the case will be reviewed. Because you can't go to a higher level, so there's an unresolved dispute now, you know. The Supreme Committee can't deal with it. After review, a final decision will be taken by the Grievance Committee of Administration of the said mansion or organization. So, the Disciplinary Authority give it a space. Final review. Rosafari does not belong to a mansion or an organization should abide by the final decision of the mansions or organizations. Hmm? Rastafari, who does not belong to any, uh, any mansion or organization, should abide by the final decisions, you know, of the mansion or organization that have been chosen to hear their grievance. So you have to go find some way to resolve a problem more than a, make a personal effort to resolve it, because sometimes you can resolve it, you can walk away. You can say, Chow, it's a bad vibes, you know, so we don't go hold that against you and bury the hatchet and bury the hammer and them thing and say, Chow, peace treaty. Or, so why, Mr. You know? Yeah. In the case of disputes of a violent nature, the matter should be referred to the local authorities for a resolution. Make a man can't get dust out, you know, a man can't get broke up, you know. And, it's done, see it. So you go to the authorities, you can resolve that. Hmm? So you have a different matter, you resolve it internally. Or you resolve it by law, if it comes down to death. So. But you always say, keep it reasonable. Don't make it be to a dictatorship on a man above board and say, take it or leave it or bother than you and Throw you out and them thing there. And so it work. You know, see it. So one should abstain from using the method of justice of the system, except in extreme situations where social law advocates the outcome of this situation. Hmm? So using the method of, of, the, of justice of the system. Use the courthouse or the police and all them thing there. It's an extreme case. Okay, you want everything to resolve within the Rastafari context, right? I don't want to like a man call a police for him, you know. We don't know, no, say. You don't really give no justice. Or In the Rastafari justice, you know, see. So you go see. Or oh, you can set it within the framework of your organization or framework of your bridging, because maybe you're not an organization in Rasta. But you have few bridging you can't talk to and say, you can talk to the bridging there, you know. Because you know, here, if you know, talk to him, anything will go down. I'm going to say, no, I'm not a bridging, that's what me talk to him. You have a mediator, that's so. I'm going to say, yo, walk away, leave that. Big on that. So within yourself, you say, yo, so. I want to end up on the now, yeah. We go step left that. Temptation, temptation, I got come. Some man say, my bad man. He no take no talk. Take it out on him, who himself now? So him get in crew. You call a vigilante, and what you get, you just take. You don't want to reach this one. Because within the framework of Rastafari, you head no dead this so. You see me? Kind of be, he, 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 my look and say, yo, Rastafari has no problem, I'm Irene, you know, and I'm good, you know, but. The vexation going to come up. Because disturbance will come up. Well, you'll deal with it, you know. Within 
reasonable limits and make it go right, you know, see it. Yeah. There should be no partiality in dispute resolution. So you go get a man who is who, 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 who is he? You listen. Or you get your brethren. Or you get your sister in. Who will listen to you. Who will wise up. Who won't take no side. And balance the reasoning. Because even if you're bona fide, you know, you're not supposed to take no side, you know. Because maybe you step out wrong. So I say, brethren, you know, you're my brethren, but you hear me now. What do you do wrong? So you hear me now. Straighten it up. Yeah, so. Non partial. If you go partial, you can't be rasta. <clears throat> so I mean, say, you go bias and you go prejudice, you know. You left that. When you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're right, you're right. So, man who's saying right, he's not going to take it. No, wrong. So you say, yo, we listen to both sides of the story. Yeah, so we know about that thing then. Abuse, slander, or carry tales, hearsay, or disgrace of any Rastafari bridge in Sistrin House or Mansion organization in the public <coughs> media, printed press, television, internet. I got to take up your paper and write about my man. When I'm in a conflict with and say that the man they do this and that the man they do that and keep the media house back off, you know. Them ways there. So we see it. So within the journey of traditions of the liberty and ice of liberty, you know, no say. Within the code of conduct, you have certain things to do. Expected of you to do things that when we see you, you know, say, Yeah, yeah, you that. Mr. Portal, I know, say, Yeah, we need to straighten up. Everything's a learning process, and a procedure, and a liberty which is visible, is liberty in an unbushel in a Rasta man. Yeah, tried you know, my sister, you know, everybody will see you. And you go hide up within the journey. So within that journey, a side set, Rastafari. Yes, Rastafari, you know, see. Yeah, we're reading some more and side up and get some levels, you know. His Majesty said, Let us therefore leave aside all misguided aims and groundless ambitions that un that can only lead us into wasteful time consuming conflicts time consuming conflicts such as word battles and all them things the argument and dispute and hours Groundless ambition, man, I try to prove I'm no one. See, you don't know nothing, and you're a dunce, and yeah, then you just strife that and bad mind. And. Immense are the challenges that lies ahead. They shall all be conquered, and the abundance, as are the opportunities that await us. Let me read again. Immense. As are the challenges that lies ahead, hmm? they shall all be conquered. And abundant as are the opportunities that await us, they shall not be wasted. We're not done. Not free to say you're not reaching anywhere, and not feel despondent, and you will give up and give thanks to the rising sun. The setting there off and give thanks to life and eat air and water in a seat and the mercies of his majesty in everything is a give thanks no in every tribulation is a way forward it's a learning process 
I will not curse God and die. I will not turn our back on His Majesty. For what reason? I will not go, go back to where we were before. For what purpose? I've been tried so many years of Rastafari and some little things come and flesh I get weak and man I get sick and man I get weak and I was a general judgment terrible. And even if we get a fortune you know, we get a money and we get rich and we get famous and we say chow. We don't need his majesty no more. We don't depend on that. To make a reason about seeing what's the fire code of conduct and dietary practices in all you eat, you know. It is recommended that Rastafari people must, must it is recommended that Rastafari people commit to eating healthy and following holistic principles, live in keeping with Rastafari traditions and customs. What are Rastafari traditions and customs? You need to check it, you need to know it. Rastafari accept a more holistic a nature-oriented lifestyle are the ones living in harmony with the earth. Just to say, you know, you know, eat no meat, you know, eat no flesh, you know, kill no ants, you know, kill no cockroach, and kill no musket, and burn no tree, and them thing there, and you just live with the earth, you know. Fruits ripen, pick that, and spring water, and drink that, and Jelly him drink that and you know abuse nature. When the earth become one, we are barefoot and him go without shirt and feel the breeze in his chest and breathe mountain breeze and vibrations, you know. Holistic. The highest form of dietary practice is a consumption of naturally grown foods. We leave the fertilized food, not you. But how much of us can leave the fertilized food? We don't grow our food, we go to the marketplace. 90% of it is fertilized. So I'll do the rest of our code of conduct say, yo, natural food. Few of us can get it, we know that. But still, we write it. Because we don't know, say the eyes that. Hmm? I tell that cleanses and purify the physical being is offer the most life energizing way of sustaining the physical structure and the inner iris of their original creation. Hmm. You go eat the meat, you become what the, line, uh, what the pig do and become what the cow do and becomes like that and see blood in them and yeah but maybe not a food war not a food cultural ethics but we are telling us eh? I tell that cleanses and purify the physical being yeah less waste matter live food better for you it offer the most life energizing way of sustaining the physical structure. You go eat aggressive animal, you go be aggressive like the animal. You have the same temperament and mentality. So be like the color low. Yeah. Be like the okra. Be like the aimeto. Calm and nice and be like the eye. The, 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 the eye come, you know, them thing there. Sunripe fruits are the best for you. The fruits and vegetables are the best for you. Spring water are the best for you. We don't know. But it comes at a price. We have no outlet, we don't have no marketplace, we don't have no sustainability. Them thing they face you. You have your money to get it. We are on a farm to receive it. You know, truck or go around on a marketplace so you can go pick up food and the house at discounted price or Rastafari. Where is the Rastafari farm that grows food? Very few are there. We give thanks to them. 
You know what I'm saying? Ital is fresh, organic, unprocessed food, if you want to know what is Ital. Ital is fresh, organic, unprocessed foods. Simple. So you're going to leave animal products and byproducts, which are your best. It is a do your best. Because we don't feel no way, some of us eat other things the same way and we're trying our best. You know? Processed food, genetically modified foods, sodium salt. Read the label. Try your best, same way. You don't know, say. Short your life expectancy, you know, them processed food and them chemical food and them. Health, sustainability, long life. You eat some wrong food, wrong food go eat you. Worms go devour you within certain time and cancer go down you. See it. We still need a collective security. In the collective marketplace. You need a sustainability. You need house and man to me say, yo. Farming we I do. Organic food. Food and the house. You sell some, you donate some, you give some. Acres of land. You know food is a source of life, man. If you eat some bad food, you know you're not bad. You end up sick over 10, 20 years, man. You want rust have cancer. You don't rust have all kind of different disease. How you come? You don't know food or plant, you don't know things that do. You're going to become the food you eat. Straight. Hmm? You can't use Himalayan salt, you have to use. You can't use sea salt from one want to salt, yeah. And you say the food itself has salt, so you can endure that. Someone using more hype and more skelly and more garlic and give the flavors that they want because you know say if you have taste buds don't no? you need flavors not you so you want something flavor you don't want something packed with salt and packed with sugar and mash it down you know see now we say in some cultures around the world seafood is eaten as part of their dietary customs we don't know say a man may eat fish Maybe I saw him set. You know which part him live. Mm -hmm. In fact, that some of are, are fishermen and partake in their cash or whatever seafood that are scavengers. Yeah, some fish are clean the ocean and all them things and some crab and all them things and some things and yeah, we leave them out, you know. So you know, I got really bond them on them who eat one fish. If him live a certain place, him can get some food to eat. So in the code of conduct, we say, yeah. Circumstances are the cases. And, but we don't know, as I said. We don't know, we have no, no fast, man, no fish, fisherman them. Don't see them. We make a fish tea and... Maybe not the fish flesh, but we make a fish tea. Yeah, we don't see that. So look on this code of conduct when I see you, you know. Now, what we say now? As we guarantee to eat the right to worship, as we choose, so we denounce the policy that set man against man on the issue of religion. Yeah, man about religion and been in an inquiry with a man. I listen to say is divine that make you religious. I listen to say the deity that make you religious. From man who sight him. Where you go burn him from. Hmm? As we guarantee to eat the right to worship as he chooses, as his majesty said. So we denounce the policy that set man against man on the grounds of religion. His majesty says so. So I see him, so he said. As that you're right. 
Mm. No. We're not going to go over this. So. Go follow what you are doing. And you have some different gods where they serve. We're not going to burn them out. Is you that? Boy, well, and I did live in Jarastafari. So let us be. Because so we see it. But you know, if you don't see it so, we're not going to quarrel with you and say, you use this and use that. Maybe. Someday you will see it. But we're not here to convince you to see his majesty like oh, we see his majesty. And we know why you have to come tell we say our forces, if we see your God like oh, you see it. That is your right. So we level, see? Each man will in space. Rest of our reggae musicians, singers and promoters, MCs and DJs, you look on them now. We have a whole lot of them who chant Rastafari and make a living and dreadlocks and things. You see it? So it's it. We know that liberty to go. But singers and players and instruments have a duty. Hmm? They should always maintain the roots and cultural lyrics of the music and the standards set by the pioneers who use the music to educate and uplift. Singers and players and DJs should conduct themselves with integrity while on the stage and also off the stage, which include activities while on tours, local or foreign. Consider making financial contribution to the social and economic development of the Rastafari nation. So that's what they know. So when we set it up, we can say, yo. Question, how much have you contributed to the Asians in need? How much have you contributed for Rastafari social development on your global campaigns, you know. We remind you, say, yeah. On the musical journey, remember, say, the foundation is the ancient who set it. And there comes a the time when the Asians need help and the Asians need care, so give something. One time we decided to have a Operation Reggae Funding and we say, okay, a dollar from the gate. Can't go to a Asian fund and man fight that say now. Can't take none from the gate charge to put in our fund and man say work for the program of fee money that and we are going to feel pocket and you see about his majesty and development and everything all is mine. Yeah, you work, fine. All is yours. What about charity? You want the church, but the church offer charity to their own. They are mindful of their members in need. They are mindful of where they are coming from. They sing and chant about Rastafari make some money, give thanks. You are talented. You have an opportunity to gather funds. Even 2%. Be one percent. Be mindful of their ancients in need. You see me? Who need care? Serious thing that I'm about. Rastafari. Yes, I. They want to talk about concerning rites of passage and burial and death and marriage and sanctification. I said, let the dead bury the dead. It's a big thought, that. A serious thought, that. Spiritual dead. 
must be the side of the tank. When you're physically dead, and you, know, you see, you have to be taken care of. That's a responsibility and a duty, so you mean. A ceremony and order must be in place to put the individual to rest. And their earth life contribution to the rest of our nation must be remembered. Man spent all him life at Rastafari and didn't give up flesh. They were abandoned him for. Look how many ones in creation abandoned flesh. That's only the first one. His Majesty go to a funeral. Or sit let you run from funeral you run from dead and everybody and man free that dead and free that dopey and what will something, something, something. Code of conduct said now. Code of conduct said a ceremonial order must be in place to put individuals to rest and their earth life contributions to the rest of our nation must be remembered. Be mindful of that. All ceremonies should be performed by certified ratified priest or chaplain of a particular house or organization. How many certified Rastafari priests we have? Can do a rites of passage. How many certified Rastafari priests we have? Can do a sanctification. Melchizedek orders a priestful, preceptical order. Bobo Shanti orders a priest order. Me, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, many ones within that levels can continue these works. You will leave your loved one to some pagan if you say anything about them, scorn them, and bad things about them, and accept them. It's time to step up the duty and to have one certified and trained in these offices more than leaving them to others who are not Rastafari. You see it? So these things must be considered. These duties must be fulfilled. And these structures have to be in place. You can say you have seven priests and a high priest. How many of these are priests are certified? How many of these priests are trained? How many of these priests can sign a document? Is it just on a paper? Is it just a word you say and a title you give to a man? You put a priest duty and He's not certified, and when, if one wants to enter in a marriage, no one can do that passage, no one can do that certification or sign those people or that ceremony because he don't have no legal papers. So whatever process is taking place is not valid in the law books. Hmm? We need to fix that. There are many brethren who step out of earth and their family take it over one Rasta. For they never support Rasta. They never like Rasta. The father, the mother, and they step out of flesh and throw them into one Babylon business. You must stop dealing with that. When you want to go to the deep and Orthodox Church, to deal with the priest and make priest of things and someone get baptized as Rastafari and the Egyptian Orthodox Church of Ethiopian names give thanks if there are ceremonies there are ceremonies take place but we don't have to talk about it we have to talk about life if it's a one stage what about the life stage and the marriage and the certification and the baptism and the things that you want to do for real think about it get it sorted out Yes, far I. Love things we are doing.
of things we have to say. Of stages we go through. Putting all of them stages there. Now the reasoning about Rastafari code of conduct and the liberty of Rastafari. The knowledge of Rastafari. The duties of ones who say I and I stand as Rastafari. Defenders of the Solomonic dynasty. Defenders of the royal throne room. Some will say otherwise. Some will cast some doubts. But I depend on that. As my to say, you must free yourself from all outside influences. You must read your deliberations of petty concerns. You must place principle above all else. You must avoid the least thoughts of personal gain or position in reaching your decisions. Hmm? Of things you look at. This is not a personal gain. We know prejudice, we know partial. So it's a collective decision. You see it. Hmm? You must place principle above all else. So the principle of Rastafari, right code of conduct stands. It is not the Naya Bingi guidelines. That limit itself to Naya Bingi. It is Rastafari business, you know, you live and where you do. And overlook some of the aspects of Naya Bingi the same way. Point out some of the things them with the priesthood and the collectiveness and so you know what be no house or no mansion, you still Rastafari. So we go deal with that. If you go say. I don't know if I've been getting Rasta, I don't know if I've no money, I don't know if I've been getting Rasta. So if you say, you're the Rasta, you say, yo, so I'm template there in my youth. Or you cite that live there, or you go live within them terms then. So when you cite, you say, you're Rasta far, I say, yo, man. We are all good. So there must be some guidelines. For everything you have guidelines. Here are the Ten Commandments, I want another guideline that to you. You know, a whole of guidelines for the heart. But other people, other nation, you must find a way to plot the graph. To balance the scales of things and one can say, yo. And I last time I say, yo, some book here. Yeah. Well, you match up with one of the book and all. Fit in one of the book and you learn. So your ways of living is not stray and you live it in a stray, you know, say, so yeah, certain things you're not done. I know if I say, yo, me a rasta, but me never have no locks. And me a rasta, me no eat no meat. And me a rasta, me burn no chalice. And yeah, me a rasta, me burn no fire. Mm. Me burn no dragon. And yeah. No things. Me says, I live it, you know. When they live with him and say, yo, well, I'm a Ital man, you know, I'm a Chalice man, you know, I'm a Reggae man, you know, and you know, African clothes and you no know, couple of languages and you know, I don't do so. He said, What is about His Majesty? And he you know, walk away because he you know, has nothing to say. What is about Ethiopia? What is about Africa? You know, you know sight that way then. So we just balance out everything, you know, and say, yo. We do the code of conduct. 
the thing broad focus anti colonial no discrimination no prejudice no malice hmm? truths and rights ja rastafari 